first question dimensions of 1 upon mu naught epsilon naught is so the electrical permittivity of free space and magnetic permeability of free space is related with the light of speed in vacuum with the formula c is equals to 1 upon under root of mu naught epsilon naught now squaring the uh, squaring the above equation we get c square equals to 1 upon epsilon naught nu naught now the dimension of 1 upon epsilon naught nu naught will be the dimension of c square now since we know the dimension of c is equals to l and t inverse so the dimension of c square will be l t inverse the square so if i multiply this two inside it will become l square t minus 2 and now look towards the option if we have this thing so that is it can be written as in the fraction as given in the option that is l2 upon t raised to 2 so let's look for this in the option that is l square upon t square it's there only in option c so looking towards the next question electromagnetic waves are produced by either a static charge a moving charge an accelerating charge or none of the above so we know that an accelerating charge produces a changing electric field which in turn produces a magnetic field these alternatively changing magnetic and electric fields give rise to electromagnetic waves a static charge gives rise to only an electric field and a moving charge creates a magnetic field so a and b are incorrect first of all thus c is the only option which is correct so electromagnetic waves are produced by an accelerating charge option c is the correct answer looking towards the next question an electric field and a magnetic field exist in a region the fields are not perpendicular to each other so whether it is this is not possible no electromagnetic wave is passing through the region an electromagnetic wave may be passing through the region or an electromagnetic wave is certainly passing through the region so there exists a mode of propagation of electromagnetic wave called the transverse electric and the magnetic mode that is transverse electric and the magnetic tem mode where both electric and magnetic field are moving transverse to the direction of propagation of wave the fields are not in the direction of propagation it is possible that an electromagnetic wave may exist when electric and magnetic field are not perpendicular so the correct answer is option c that an electromagnetic wave may be passing through the reach looking towards the next question a free electron is placed in path of plane electromagnetic wave the electron will start moving along the electric field along the magnetic field along the direction of propagation or in the plane containing the magnetic field and the direction of propagation so a particle placed in an electromagnetic wave moving with velocity v experiences a force called lorentz force due to the electric and the magnetic field this lorentz force is given by f is equals to q e bar plus v bar into b bar where q is the charge of the particle e is the electric field v is the velocity of the particle and b is the magnetic field an electron at rest is placed in the path of the plane electromagnetic wave 
Now the Lorentz force acting on the electron will be F is equals to Q into E bar plus. So this V will become 0. So that is 0 into B bar. Where E is a charge of the electron. As the electron is at rest, so the velocity will be 0. And the net Lorentz force will be. So this multiplication will completely become 0. And thus only these two terms are left. So that becomes F is equals to Q into E bar. This shows that electron will move in the direction of field. So the correct answer among the given option is along the direction of propagation of wave. That is option C. Looking towards the next question. An electromagnetic wave going through vacuum is described by E is equals to E naught sine kx minus omega t and b is equals to b naught sine kx minus omega t then so the amplitude of the electric and the magnetic fields are related as e naught upon b naught is equals to c where c is the speed of the wave and e naught and b naught are the amplitude of the fields. The speed of the wave is related with its frequency and wave number as omega upon k is equals to c where omega is the angular frequency of the wave 2 pi upon 2 pi n and k is the wave number that k is equals to 2 pi upon lambda and nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Now from these two equations we can combine omega upon k equals to e naught upon b naught. Therefore we can cross multiply and say e naught k is equals to b naught omega. So let's look for the option that is e naught k and B naught omega. So the correct answer is option A for this question. Whether this B and C are invalid. So we have only this possibility, option A.